Let us assume that the phase space file for segment 1 has been tallied, either during this project, as it was shown in video number 02, or it has been linked from another project as shown in video number 03. Evidence that segment 1 has been already simulated is given by the fact that the upper part of the Linux is no longer grayed out, and two check marks appear next to segment 1, indicating that the segment has been simulated and that the face space file has been tallied. To compute the absorbed dose distribution in a water phantom, we need to simulate the radiation transport through segment 2 of the Linux, the patient dependent part, and segment 3, the phantom itself. These two segments can be simulated either simultaneously or one after the other. We will simulate them simultaneously. We will use the default field size of 10 by 10 cm square and the default dimensions of the water phantom as shown in video number 02. For the simulation of segments 2 and 3, we will use VPM as the Monte Carlo engine instead of Penelope. If we were simulating segments 2 and 3 in the same project we simulated segment 1, the seats of the random number generator would be different from 1. However, this is not the case, since this is a new project in which we have linked a face space file tallied in another project. Therefore, we need to use seeds different from 1 in order to make sure that the sequence of random numbers is not repeated. To avoid repetition of the random number sequence, we click several times the dice. The seeds proposed are those that provide the longest period of the random number generator. The number of histories proposed is that when used to tally the linked face space file. This number can be reduced if we do not want to simulate the whole phase space, but it cannot be increased since the number of histories in the phase space is finite. We need to decide the variance reduction techniques that will be employed during the simulation. For second 3, the only user configurable variance reduction technique is simple splitting. We use a splitting factor of 300 which is adequate for most cases. Finally, we save and launch the simulation. DPM always uses the maximum number of computing cores available in the computer. As it can be seen in the drawing of the Linux and the corresponding check marks next to each segment, the three segments have been simulated and segment 1 and 3 have results in the hard drive. In the case of segment 1, it is a phase space file. In the case of segment 3, it is a dose distribution.